Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is all day airsofting. This is the ICS MX5 SD, SD meaning silencer. Uh, it just screws off. You can't really put anything else on there because the threads are about as wide as the silencer. Um, the con about this gun is the huge arms uh, flash hider. I put a piece of electrical tape over the outside of it, but you can't take it off. Uh, they do sell another one on e-bike or GI, I forget. Uh, but it's like 50 bucks, I think. And I'm not going to spend 50 bucks to, just to get rid of an orange flash hider. You can spray paint it if you want. Um, this gun features a full metal upper receiver and the lower receiver of a G3. Meaning it's pretty ergonomic. It's got a shelf for your thumb. Um, it's good quality plastic, very light gun. Like, you know, I could one arm. Uh, plastic stock, still good quality. Um, rubber for or rubber handguard. It's a good rubber. It's not plastic or anything. It's it's legitimate rubber. <laughs> um, to take that off if you wanted to. I'm not really sure why. I don't believe you can put like an A5 or you know the regular hand guards on because it's kind of round underneath this so I'm not exactly sure if it would go on but I mean you can try um, so yeah just take those out there's one on each side slide it off uh, this right here charging handle it doesn't do anything this thing does not come back to reveal the hop up but you can snap that down all day and it won't break. The hop up is actually, lo it took me a little while to find it. It's located right there. It's like a lever that you slide back and forth. Uh, it's very sensitive, so you can get it to go, you know, super far or accurate. Uh, better than unresponsive. Um, the selector switch on here, safe, it's a white S. Uh, semi automatic is a red E. I don't really know what the E stands for, but then F for full auto. Um, the bottom of the pistol grip kind of looks unique. It's got like a bunch of slits. Never seen that before, but it's pretty nice. Um, this large type or the large stock can accommodate a large type battery, which is another plus, like another deciding factor when I got this gun. Uh, this is a 8.4 volt, 4,000 milliamp battery. Uh, 4,000 milliamps will last you, you know, a couple days playing a lot. Um, plus, with an 8.4 volt battery, this thing shoots about 15 rounds a second, roughly. Uh, here, I'll give you a demonstration real quick. pretty fast. Great for CQB with the FPS at about 330. Uh, I use this for field and CQB. Um, for field it's a little lacking like uh, you don't really get the range, the desired range and accurate, well accuracy yeah but it doesn't shoot very far um, which could be a problem but it works very well. Um, Let's see, what else is there? You know, metal front and rear sights. The rear sight has four adjustments. They're just holes, and then one of them is just a gap, like this. You see down that to the front sight, which is circle with a stick kind of sticking up in the middle. Uh, very accurate sights, I like them. Some people, for whatever reason, don't. I think they're fine. This gun does not come with a top rail. Uh, you have to buy that separately. I just ordered one for about 17 bucks. I also have a red dot coming tomorrow, which will be cool. Um, magazine release right here. Uh, standard MP5 one. You know, just a lever. But it also has like an M4 style, kind of. Push this button in, and uh, the mag can come out. But 
Probably the biggest con for me about this gun is magazine compatibility. Combat compatibility. Uh, th this is the ICS one that came with it. It's 230 round high cap. However, I also ordered a mid cap GNP mag, but it was too fat for the gun. Um, I believe I have JG mags or Sima, one of the two. One of them fits in there too, which is good because I thought I was going to be stuck with one mag, which would have sucked. Um, probably the only upgrade I would do to this is since the outer bar or the inner barrel is 230 millimeters long, which pretty much cut off right where the silencer begins. Uh, I would put a longer one so that it goes the whole length of the suppressor, silencer, you know, barrel extension, whatever. Um, that's probably the only thing I do, unless you're like me and play field a lot, you might want to go and get a better spring, but then, uh, you know, if the gearbox breaks, I don't know. It, it seems like a very sturdy gun. I'm not trying to, you know, sound like it's going to fall apart on you. Uh, there's a serial number right there. It's engraved, I think. Uh, I think that's engraved. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's unique. It might be, but I know right there. Do you remember? And then another one right here. This one definitely is engraved. I probably can't see it because there's, it's not highlighted. But it's it says caliber nine millimeter times nineteen. Um. Sling mounts, one on the stock and one on the front near the front sight. Kind of need a unique sling to go through right here because it's pretty uh, narrow, I guess. Most slings won't fit through there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching.